quiet. I'm Cynthia Tobias, and for some of you, that would just about be impossible. It's not that you try to be disruptive or loud. It's just that when you think, you need to talk about what you're thinking. At the very least, you may need a thinking noise, something that helps you tune everything else out. And believe it or not, staying quiet may make you struggle to listen, and actually you'll learn less. I know, many of you can't concentrate unless it is quiet, and somehow you're the ones that got the rule passed that says you aren't allowed to make noise while you're learning. But couldn't we at least compromise? We could encourage the noisy kids to be quiet for a while, teach the quiet kids how to tolerate letting the noisy ones talk for a while, and then they'll probably all learn more. That is the point, isn't it? Whether or not they can prove their learning, I know it can really bug you if you think someone's talking or making noise because they're just not paying attention. And a child with endless chatter can sometimes wear you out. But what if all the talking going on actually means they're discussing or asking questions about what they were just taught? After all, you never know how much of talking is a matter of style. Mm-hmm.